Well, all right, it seems like the world is coming to an end, finally. And now we're in quarantine, so guess what? Online learning. So today I'm gonna be tying some knots. Anyways, so I have this makeup brush that will be, I guess, my stick or whatever that I'm tying it to. And then I have this handy dandy little rope that I will be using. It's actually a hoodie string, but who cares? First, I will be doing the clove hitch method one. Let's go. So watching the video, it doesn't seem that difficult, but let's see how this goes. So first, I'm just gonna probably do it on my lap or something because I cannot, like, no, I'm not gonna try. Gotta get the stick thingy, and it seems like uh, I'm doing pretty well. So I'm gonna tie it like this, and then I'm regretting this. Give me one second. All right, so it's not that hard. So I was able to tie it in about like five seconds. So this is my attempt, but yeah, right there. That's method one. Method two is gonna be done with the string first by itself. And then you slip this into like that, I guess. So I'm gonna try that out now. Okay, I think this one was a little bit easier just because you made the, the knot first and then tied it on. So there's my attempt, looks kind of the same. But I mean, it worked better than the first time. Okay, so number two, the next one is the fisherman's knot. And looking at it, I'm a little scared, but it seems to be two ropes. So I'm going to go into the video and I will be doing it live. I'll probably do like a time lapse or something and then show the final product, which the ends of this one are a little wonky because it used to be in a hoodie, but I'm going to go find another one and see if I can do that. Now he has a handy little buddy. And so they, um, it says equal diameter. These look about the same. So I'm going to try and attempt to do the fisherman's knot. So here is my current attempt at the fisherman's knot. This little tail right here is sticking out more than this one. But I think the knot in general is what I got down. So looks pretty good to me. And for the last one, I'm going to be doing the angler's loop, I think is how you pronounce it. So I'm going to switch over to this little guy because he's missing out. And so I'm gonna look at the video real quick and come back to it, see how difficult that is. Okay, so looking at it at first, it looked pretty simple, but this one took me about two tries, but that's the finished knot thingy. And it looks pretty good. I think I would actually use this knot for certain things. It looks like a lasso. I would probably use it in real life, but yeah. Now that I think I have them down and kind of, you know, worked with them a little bit, I think I'm gonna do the time lapse of all three of them and show you how I actually tie the knots. My hands will probably be in the way, but I'll attempt it. So looking at this, I think the most difficult one was probably the fisherman's knot, and the easiest one was probably the clove hitch. The angler's loop I had a little bit of trouble with, but I got it down eventually. So in order it would probably be from hardest to easiest, fisherman's knot, angler's loop, and then the clove's hitch. And I finished. 